good day. Kindly follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. So in this video, I will teach you about the introduction for geometry for the grade 7 mathematics and we will talk about the undefined terms in geometry and those are the point, the line, and the plane. So first, what is a point? A point, it has no direction, meaning no length, no width, and no thickness. It is represented by a dot and named by a capital letter. So kapag sinabing point, wala itong haba, walang kapal, at wala ring lapad. At ito ay nire-represent ng dot or tuldok at pinapangalanan as a capital letter. Like this one. So we have the given point A. As you can see, ang point ay walang kapal, walang haba, at wala ring lapad at pinangalanan siya using the capital letter A. So, ano nga ba ang mga bagay na magsisimbolize o nagbibigay ng halimbawa as point? Like this one, we have tip of a pen. So, kapag sinabing tip of a pen, iyon yung dulo ng ball pen. So, let us name this point as point P. Another example of a point is this one, a star in the sky. So, kapag tinignan natin yung between sa langit, Kung mapapansin nyo, iyon ay parang mga maliliit na tuldok. So, that represent also a point. So, let us name this, uh, for example, this one star as point S. Okay, next is the line. Kapag naman sinabing line, it has no width and no thickness, but it has length since it extends endlessly in opposite directions. It is represented by opposite arrows and named by a single small letter. So kapag sinabing line, wala itong kapal at wala rin lapad pero meron siyang haba. Since nag extend sila o yung magkabilang line sa opposite directions. Ito ay nire-represent ng opposite arrows and pinapangalanan using the small letters. Like this one. So ito ay halimbawa ng line. Kung mapapansin nyo, meron siyang line or pwede nga extend ang line na ito sa right at sa left since meron silang opposite arrows pero wala silang kapal at wala ring lapad. And then, pinapangalanan natin ang line using a small letter. So, this is read as line A. Ano naman yung mga bagay na, na, na nagre-represent sa line? So, for example, this one. This is called as a railway or yung dinadaanan ng mga tren. So, yung line na ito or yung side na ito ng railway, iyan ay nagre-represent ng line o isang halimbawa ng line. So, pangalanan natin ang line na yan as line X. Another is the ruler. So, that is a ruler. So, ang side na ito ng ruler ay halimbawa din ng line. And then, pwede natin siyang pangalanan as line M. Next is the plane. Plane, it has no thickness but it has length and width since it extends endlessly in all directions. It is represented by any two-dimensional or 2D surface and named by any three points, which are not on the same line or simply by a single script letter. So kung ang point ay walang length, walang width, at walang thickness, Ang line naman ay merong, merong length pero walang width at walang thickness. Kapag naman sinabing plane, meron siyang length at meron, dang, uh, meron ding width pero wala siyang thickness. Ibig sabihin, pwede natin i-extend ang kanilang lines o ang side ng plane endlessly in all directions pero wala siyang kapal. Like this one. So ito ay halimbawa ng plane. Kung mapapansin nyo, meron siyang Apat na lines, so nagkonekta siya, and then meron din siyang lapad, and then wala siyang kapal. So that is an example of plane, and pwede natin siyang pangalanan using the single script letter A. Again, kapag sinabing plane, wala siyang kapal, or yung mga shape na 2D or 2-dimensional, katulad ng squares, 
rectangles, circles. Pero kapag naging 3D na, halimbawa, cube, o kaya um, sphere, o kaya box, so hindi na siya halimbawa ng plane kasi 3D na siya or 3-dimensional. So when we said plane, a plane is a set of points in an endless flat surface. The following determine a plane. First, three non-collinear points. So pwede nating malaman na ang given figure is a plane kung meron siyang tatlong hindi magkakalinya na points. Next is two intersecting lines. Kung kapag meron kayong nakitang um, dalawang lines na nagtagpo, or nag-intersect sa isa't isa, iyon ay makakabuo din ng plane. Next is two parallel lines. Kapag sinabing parallel lines, iyon yung dalawang line na kahit anong i-extend nyo ng haba, ay never silang magtatagpo. Next is a line and a point not on the line. So, pwede nating malaman or magiging plane ang isang um, point at isang line kung ang point ay wala sa line. Okay, so here's an example of plane. So, we have the given cover of a book. Yung cover ng book na ito, ito ay halimbawa ng plane. Since meron siyang haba, merong lapad, pero walang kapal. Again, ang pinag-uusapan natin ay cover. Ibig sabihin, yung cover lang ng libro at hindi yung mismong libro. So, meaning, wala siyang kapal or walang thickness. So, pangalanan natin ang plane na ito as plane B. Another is a flat screen TV. So, itong plane na ito ay halimbawa din ng plane or yung ating flat screen TV ay halimbawa ng plane dahil walang kapal ang screen ng flat screen TV. And, pangalanan natin to as plane C. So, let's now have the examples. So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong triangle, circle, line, pero lahat sila ay nasa loob ng, nasa loob ng plane M. Okay, so let us answer the given questions using these given figures. Okay, first, name the point or points in the interior region of the circle. So, sabi dyan, pangalanan daw natin yung mga points o isang point na nasa interior region ng circle. So, meron tayong circle. Sabi dyan, interior region. Ibig sabihin, nasa loob ng circle. Ano daw yung mga points o isang point na nasa loob ng circle? So, those points are point B, point E, and point G. Kapag papangalanan natin ng point, kailangan po meron tayong um, dot and then the capital letter. Or, pwede naman sa halip na dot, Pwede niyong isulat yung buong word na point. Next question, name the point or points in the interior region of the triangle. So sabi dyan, pangalanan daw natin yung mga points o isang point na nasa loob or interior region ng triangle. So kung mapapansin nyo, sa loob ng triangle meron tayong point F at line K. Pero sabi dyan, kailangan lahat natin pangalanan ay yung point. So, the answer is point F. Dahil ang K ay hindi point kundi example ng line. Third, name the line or lines in the interior region of the triangle. So, pangalanan daw natin ang line na nasa loob o interior region ng triangle. So, nag-iisa lang ang line dyan and that is line K. Next, give other name or names for line P. Kung papapansin nyo, meron tayong line P dito at sa line P, merong tal, uh, dalawang points and those are the points H and point D. Okay, so bukod daw sa line P, ano pa daw ang pwede nating ipangalan sa line na ito? Okay, so pwede natin siyang pangalanan as line DH or line HD. And then, yung nasa taas niya, ito yung nagre-represent o ito yung symbol ng line. Kailangan merong magkabilang araw sa left at right side. Next question, name the plane that can be formed by the three points in the interior of the circle. So, pangalanan daw natin ang plane 
na na-form ng tatlong points na nasa loob ng circle. So, para mabuo natin yung plane using the three points, kailangan lang natin gamitin yung pangalan ng tatlong points. And that will become the plane BEG. Again, yung symbol natin ng plane is this one or this shape. And then, pagtatabihin lang natin yung pangalan ng tatlong points. Next, name the plane formed by line P and point I. So, pangalanan daw natin yung plane na na-form o nabuo ng P at ng point I. So, kung mapapansin nyo, again, sa P, meron tayong tatlong points, uh, sorry, dalawang points, H and D. So, pwede natin pangalanan ang point I at line P in a plane using this one, plane DHI. Again, i-recall natin ang definition ng plane. So, malalaman daw natin na plane kapag merong tatlo o higit pang points na hindi magkakaline. So, since hindi magkakaline ang DHI or wala sila sa iisang line, ibig sabihin, pwede siya maging plane. Next, name the points outside the circular region. So, pangalanan daw natin yung mga points na nasa labas ng circle. So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong tatlong points sa loob ng circle and those are the points B, E, at G. So, ano yung mga points na wala sa loob ng circle? Those are the points A, C, D, F, dahil ang F ay nasa loob ng triangle at wala sa circle, H, I, and J. Again, kapag maglalagay tayo ng points or isusulat natin yung iba-ibang points, kailangan po sila po ay nasa alphabetical format. Next question, name the points outside the region bounded by the triangle. So sabi dyan, pangalanan daw natin yung mga points na nasa labas ng triangle. So ano nga ba yung point na nasa loob ng triangle? That is point F. So, ibig sabihin, isusulat natin lahat ng points na nasa loob ng plane M bukod sa F or except sa F. So, those are the points A, B, C, D, G, uh, sorry, A, B, C, D, E, G, H, I. So, again, hindi kabilang ang point F dahil nasa loob siya ng triangle at ang hinahanap ay mga points na nasa labas ng triangle. Next, name the points of plane M. So, dito pangalanan daw natin yung mga points na nasa plane M. Ang plane M natin, iyon yung buong rectangle. So, ibig sabihin kabilang or kasama lahat ng points na nasa loob ng triangle na ito. Pero hindi dapat kabilang ang line K at line P dahil hindi sila points. Sila ay halimbawa ng lines. So, the answer or A, uh, point A, point B, point C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and J. Next question, give other names for plane M. So, bukod daw sa plane M, ano yung pwede natin ipangalan sa plane na ito or sa given rectangle na ito? So, pwede natin siyang pangalanan as plane A, C, D. Paano naging ACD? Meron tayong tatlong points. Kung mapapansin nyo, ang points A, C, at D ay hindi uh, nasa iisang line. So, ibig sabihin, pwede siya maging pangalan ng plane M. Another is plane A, C, J. A, C, J. Hindi sila nag-form ng iisang line dahil hindi sila magkakatapat or magkakatabi. So, that is an example also of plane M. Another is Plane DHI, so katulad ng sagot natin kanina, DHI, hindi rin sila nag-form ng iisang line. And another is plane ACI, ACI, hindi rin sila nag-form ng iisang line, so therefore, or hindi sila nag-form ng straight line, ibig sabihin sila ay pwedeng ipangalan sa plane M. Kung may nakikita pa kayo na pwedeng ipangalan sa plane M, you are free to name those points. So, let us now summarize what we have learned in this lesson. When we said point, it has no direction, ibig sabihin no length, no width, and no thickness. 
It is represented by a dot and named by a capital letter, like this one. It is read as point A or yung symbol na dot or yung point, pwede nyong gawing word na point. Pero kailangan ang pangalan ng point ay nasa capital letter. Next is line. When we said line, it has no width and no thickness, but it has length. Since it extends endlessly in opposite directions, it is represented by opposite arrows and named by a single small letter. So kung ang point ay walang dimension, ibig sabihin walang haba, walang lapad at wala rin kapal, ang line naman ay walang lapad at walang kapal pero meron siyang haba. So like this one, line K or pwede natin gawin o pangalanan ang line as line CD. Pero dapat ang symbol na nasa taas niya ay may opposite arrow sa left and right side. Next is the plane. It has no thickness but it has length and width since it extends endlessly in all directions. It is represented by any 2D or 2-dimensional surface and named by any 3 points which are not on the same line or simply by a single script letter. So like this one. This is an example of plane, and that is plane L. So, i-recall natin yung pagkakaiba ng, uh, pagkakaiba -iba ng point, line, at plane. Kapag sinabing point, walang length, walang width, walang thickness. Kapag line, walang width, walang thickness, pero merong length. Kapag naman plane, walang thickness, pero merong length and width, and pinapangalanan siya using the single script letter. Sana ay may natutunan kayo tungkol sa ating lesson sa video na ito. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all!